Welcome back to Game Galaxy, and I'm a little late to the party on this, but I wanted to do my own video response to Review Tech USA's video of why are game consoles still necessary in 2017. I know Johnny from the Happy Console Gamer did a good response to that, but I just wanted to throw in my two cents, uh, because the internet validates my own thoughts, right? But I wanted to throw in my two cents, coming from a person who used to game the most on PC, and nowadays it's the complete opposite. And I'll just say, from number one, like we all agree, PC obviously is the most powerful way to have a gaming experience. I'm not disputing that, I'm not sitting here telling you that like, my Sega Genesis is better and all that. That's not, you know, everybody knows PC is the top powerhouse. But the point for me is that like, I never in my life had the most powerful PC. So uh, for many, many years, I was able to PC game along with console game, but I PC game for a long time because even when games started to be 3D with the Quake 3 engine and stuff like that, you could still get away with our only having a 16 megabyte integrated graphics card in your computer. And so the real big thing of what finally changed for me was the PlayStation 2. That's what changed me off of PC gaming. And I'll explain. In 2010, I put together money uh, and I was going to build my own PC with a few helps uh, from some of my friends. And the main primary source was I wanted to buy a recording computer to make music. But also I was like, oh, and then I can, you know, I can play games as well. So I trusted in a friend who worked at Best Buy to help me pick a graphics card. Now I was naive and foolish and I thought a graphics card with one gigabyte of memory was like, that meant it was going to be amazing, you know? And I trusted in my friend to help me and, you know, the card was only about $90. Now, he was using his Best Buy discount with me, but I was like, well, shouldn't it be more money? And he was like, no, it's fine. Anyway, I had a small monitor at the time that only allowed me to go to 720p. So at that point, it was great. I was only doing 1280 by 720. Stuff looked fantastic. I loved it. It wasn't until I got a 1920 by 1080 screen and I tried to play Mafia 2 on high settings and suddenly I couldn't because I had a Radeon HD 5570, which is a very, very mid-range card. And I am a little bit of an OCD person. If you know anybody who knows me personally, they'll say, oh, he's, he's, you know, Jamie's insane. So there's a few things that like, if I'm playing a PC game and I can't turn everything up to the highest, it bugs me on like an OCD level and takes away from my enjoyment of the game. I'll be sitting there and I'm like, oh, this could be better. Oh, the frame rate, oh, the draws, it could be better. And that like incessant thoughts will take away my enjoyment from the game. Whereas where a console brings me, it's like, okay, this has been optimized or maybe it hasn't been optimized, but this is what I get. Take it or leave it. So therefore I know what I'm getting is what it is. And the only thing left for me to do is to enjoy the game. And that's what it is. And so, I think the answer to the question of like, why do we need game, game consoles in you know 2017? You could argue that we don't. But I think what uh, when I say the PS2 brought me away from PCs is that because around that same time where I was having frustration, it also offered something different, not seen in uh, on PCs. And that's where the whole you know exclusive exclusivity exclusivity I can't talk exclusivity of, you know, games and selling hardware comes from. And the game, you know, I was a Sega kid my whole life and I kinda had a chip on my shoulder about PlayStation 2 because I loved the Dreamcast and I felt the PS2 killed it. So I withheld getting a PS2 for the longest time because I'm a dumb Sega fanboy. But it wasn't until I saw just clips it was of uh, Judgment Day. If anybody remembers that old G4 show, it had Tommy Tallarico and um, Vic, Victor Lucas, and they would review games, and it was both of them, it was, it was fantastic. But they reviewed Shadow of the Colossus for PlayStation 2, and I just remember going, oh my goodness, that's it. I've got to get a PlayStation 2. And this was around, um, I don't know, it may have been 2005 when I saw it. I didn't get my PlayStation until 2006, PS2, uh, which is a long time and way after the fact. But that Shadow of the Colossus gave me an experience I was never having on PCs at that scale. It was different. The graphics were definitely pixelated and more pixelated than something like uh, Oblivion on the PC. It was probably around the same time. 
but it was just something different. And you know what? The more I played from like that point on, especially if I jump back to 2010, I moved away from my PC and I started going back and playing the games I missed, like God of War. And I was just putting games in and they were just playing. And I was having these amazing experiences. So I don't know if I'm blabbing on, but I feel like they're relevant in the fact that this is the nature of the business, right? Consoles still push forward the video game business, whether you like it or not. And exclusive games are a big part of gaming. So uh, now with that said, I love these days how much is on Steam. When I used to be on computers all the time and I didn't have money to buy these consoles and my parents didn't buy them for me, and anyway, I would always say like, why can't this be on PC? So I love when I sit here and do a review of a game and I tell you it's also available on Steam. That is so cool. There's so much where it's still on Steam. And, and me, uh, I don't want to have an Xbox just because like I'm in, I'm in the Sony camp and I just I have so many video games it's kind of disgusting. And I just, uh, you know, I'm happy to see that like there's a new game coming out called Cuphead and I'm really interested in it. But I saw, oh man, it's a Microsoft thing. It's gonna be on three, uh, you know, Xbox One. But then wait a minute, no, good. It's gonna be on PC too, so I'm cool, you know. And I, I'm all for that. But I think also consoles just leave a level of simplicity to the masses. Now I'm not calling everybody stupid or that people don't know how to use computers, but some people just like to buy a box, hook it up to the TV, and play and forget about it. And I'm not throwing any shade at Rich from Review Tech USA or anything like that because I love his channel, love what he does. But I just found it kind of a uh, little sensational to make videos about how much you love the Switch and the portability of it and the ingenuity and see its marketplace. But then make a video like, why do we have game consoles? It's just, you totally just want to ignite the flame war and watch it go. But, you know, for me also, I don't really have the space aesthetically to put a PC next to where my television is, it just wouldn't look nice. And I'd have to get, you know, the, the wireless keyboard and the mouse and then, I don't know, it's, it, it wouldn't work for me. So I prefer to sit on my couch and enjoy a console like the PlayStation 4 with a giant screen uh, that I researched and, you know, the color of the TV and whatever. So I don't, for someone like me, I don't have the ability to put a PC to my TV. Now, if you're like Joey B slash 3, the fit gamer, go check his channel out. I'm gonna plug it. Uh, he has got, you know, an incredible, when I visited him, you know, set up with a PC to a big TV mounted on the wall, everything's wireless. That's the way to PC game. And if you can do it, do it. But you know what? I just say, you know, there, you shouldn't be black or white. If you love video games, play it in any way that you can. If you have a way to make yourself a powerhouse, go ahead. But you know what? Even if you have the most largest, fantastic PC in the world, there's still great gaming experiences to have on the Wii U. Tank, tank, tank. I haven't talked about it yet on this channel, but it is absolutely fantastic. And it's only on the Wii U or in the arcade. You can't get it on the PC, I don't think. I might be speaking in ignorance, but... So, I don't know if I came to any resolution, but I have to say, I love uh, getting a game. And you know, it, it's funny, because when it comes to PC gaming, I've been completely turned on to the digital distribution thing with Steam. I love it. But somehow with consoles, I still like physical copies. And I think that's a lot of my love too. There's something exciting for me when a new game comes out to go actually get it from the store and come home. I really enjoy that. And um, yeah, I won't fanboy on about how I love controllers, but I just think some people love the simplicity it offers. And honestly, one more thing I have to say is that since I never had, you know, super duper graphics cards to show me 4K blistering visuals, I feel like we're at the point now with PlayStation 4, and I don't even have the PlayStation 4 Pro, but I'm playing games like Wildlands with my friends, and, uh, you know, Uncharted 4, and my mouth is just on the floor. I'm like, this is beautiful. And if I want to be technical, yeah, that draw distance in Wildlands could be just a little better, or that jaggy, but I'm okay with it. I don't know if that's just because, you know, someone on the other end might be like, well, dude, you haven't seen what it can be, so of course you're like that. But I, you know, of course I want things better, and of course I want, you know, consoles and computers to keep pushing. 
but I, you know, the games are looking amazing today. It's incredible. So, anyway, my motto at the end of this is that there shouldn't be a war about PC and consoles. I would encourage people to play both platforms and just play the games because the games is what I'm all about, and it's the art form I'm passionate about, and I hope you are too. I don't know if I added anything of merit to this conversation, but I just wanted to do that, so thanks for watching. <laughs>